Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to do another um, pinwheel Dutch pour. Um, absolutely loved how this one came out. I love the centre, how it swelled. Really, really happy with it. I'm going to go again, but with a totally different um, colour palette. I'm going to do blues and purples. I did a similar Dutch pour recently in those colours. I'm mixing it up a little bit, so not as bright and as... Um, crazy as this one. It's going to be in a much classier colour palette. Blues, purples, a little bit of white and a little bit of silver. And I'm going bigger. It's going to be a 60 centimetre square canvas. So really excited to get started. So let me show you the colours I've chosen. These are the colours I'm using. I've got Art Discount Violet. I've got Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet Light. Pebio Silver. Silver. Uh, De La Rowney Graduate Acrylic Metallic Blue, De La Rowney Prussian Blue and Amsterdam King's Blue. They're all mixed to my Dutch pour, uh, Dutch pour recipe, so mixed with flood flow of troll and water. So I'll put the recipe for that in the description, um, the description of this video. So I've got two metallics. I'm hoping to get some cells. Um, and I think the best way of doing that is by using some metallics, especially this silver. The silver just makes some beautiful, beautiful cells uh, once the design is, is blown out with the hairdryer. Um, so let's get started. As I said, I'm using a 60 centimetre square canvas. You may be able to see there's some very faint lines drawn on the canvas. So I found the centre of the canvas. I then put a clear plastic pot over the top so I could check it that it was in the centre from my cross and drew round it. And then I've done some curves. So it's similar to maybe a pinwheel or a Catherine wheel firework. It's got a, a sort of spinning motion to it. So when I put the paint down on the canvas, I'm going to try and follow these curves. Now, when I did this before with this with a similar colour scheme, it wasn't that obvious where the curves were. So I'm going to work really hard this time to try and have less overlapping of the colours to have more distinct sections of the colour. Now, I want the dominant colour um, to be the blue, the Prussian blue. So I'm going to put that down first. Um, I think I'm probably going to put it every other. I'll go with every other line to start with, which means it appears four times. is absolutely plenty of paint there's a lot of paint on here now probably too much but I'd, I'd rather have too much than not enough at the moment I'm just bringing that color in slightly to the uh, to the circle in the middle Right, I'm going to leave my centre blank at the moment. So the idea now is I'm going to blow this out to the edge in the line of the paint. So I've, there's quite a lot of solid paint here. There's a lot less around the outside. So what I'm hoping will happen is that there's enough paint in the centre that I can blow it out and it can reach and cover the edges. The colours look amazing together. I'm really happy with this colour palette. Um, so I'm going to do 
maybe do a couple and then I'll probably stop and turn the canvas round. I like there's bits I don't like I like the fact that you can see the pinwheel but I feel that the colors are too separate they're not blending enough so I'm actually just going to add some more paint so for example there there's the light purple but it's too light I want to add some of the dark so I'm actually now going to in just I'm going to put some more paint on to try and actually get more of a blend of colors because I actually feel they're two separate. much much happier with this now um you can still you can see very much see the, the the pinwheel the shape of it there's less distinct sections but that works so much better because these colors now just all blend really really beautifully right i now need to dis oh excuse me i now need to decide what to do in the center so last time i did this i did i had a white center and then swirled the colors in um so i could do that or i could do a silver center or I could do a dark centre, but I've run out of my dark blue, so I'd have to mix some more. Let's go with silver and see what that looks like. So I'm just going to put some silver in the centre. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to spread it out with my finger. And then I'm going to drag the colours through to complete the spiral into the centre of the painting. Right, I finished for now. I'm not happy with my centre at the moment. I think I had too much paint um, and it's all just got a little bit messy in the centre. In fact, I'll show you the centre. So what I'm going to do is there were some really pretty bits, but I'm going to let it dry. And then I think what I might do is just hand paint a tiny bit extra. So, for example, where the purple comes in, just continue that purple line around a bit like where, how that blue one is. So it's just a little bit simpler in the middle. I think it just looks a little bit too tightly curled and, and a little bit chaotic um, but the edges are fab absolutely love these edges you've just got very random cells lacing little fluty bits from the edges of the the um, jets of paint um, you can see it's the silver that makes the cells um, the blue, yeah, the iridescent blue isn't that's there it's not really making the cells actually it's just the silver 
And actually the white, the white is creating more of a lacing over the top of the colours. Yeah, that's interesting. It's the white and the silver. You can see there a really pretty little patch of lacing. And actually here, look at that white lacing over the top, but then the, the silver cells. Absolutely love this colour scheme. Um, it's not as dark as I was expecting, but actually I think that's going to be great because it will dry darker. Um, so I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry. Um, I've changed a little bit right in the centre where the spiral um, meets. I'll show you that bit first. All I have done is painted some extra lines just to define that spiral a bit more. Um, right in the centre, there's some really beautiful patterns where the colours have all blended together. But it just needed, I think, just a little bit more defining. So I've tried to get the lines fainter and fainter as they go towards the centre. Um, the the, the colour that I think actually works the best in this and stands out the best is actually the white. Um, the white is just so bright and creates such beautiful cells. Um, it just seems to make the whole thing come alive. The colours are fab. Absolutely love these colours together. I guess because blues and purples, when they mix together, they just make another shade of a really similar colour. So you don't really ever get muddying. Um, the silver there, yeah, the silver just makes beautiful cells. Um, and the blue, the metallic blue, let me show you in the light because it is electric. It is an absolutely electric colour. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and then th when I varnish this, this isn't varnished yet. When I varnish it, that shine will just be even more so. So I'm absolutely over the moon with this. Love, love, love the colours. I love the concept of it, the swell. Um, please let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of this piece. Um, if you like it, please hit the thumbs up button. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.